What's up guys, Travis Lawton here, and I've got a quick tip that I'd like to show you about culling images in Lightroom. It is a hotly debated topic. Everybody wants to make it faster. Everybody's got their own method for it. And I thought I would show you my method, which I've found to work and be super, super fast without purchasing any additional software out there. So let's jump right into it. So the simple idea here, the answer that I'm talking about is something that isn't talked about very much. And that's when Adobe created Lightroom Mobile. I know you've probably heard that a bunch of times and you have maybe tried it out once or twice and been like, you know, it's not for me. It just doesn't fit with my workflow. You go back to what you're doing. That's great, that's fine, I get it. But stay with me, just for culling. No editing, no nothing. You can do that all on the computer, but just for culling the images, I use Lightroom Mobile, and let me tell you why. Me personally, I have a maxed spec 5K iMac. Super, super quick in most situations, but for whatever reason, Lightroom is kind of slow going from image to image. This is even after I've loaded all the previews and all that kind of stuff. It still takes a couple seconds per picture I switch to when I start getting going pretty quick. And those couple seconds add up. Imagine shooting a wedding or an event with thousands of images and your eyeballs have to see every single one of those images to make sure it's a pick or not, those seconds in between flipping from image to image adds up. It can greatly increase your overall time to finish a job. Me personally, I am all about working smarter, not harder. Burp, pardon me. I'm personally all about working smarter and not harder, so I'm always looking for little tips and little tricks that I can add into my workflow to make everything go faster and smoother. So when it came to culling, I was getting super frustrated and I downloaded the trials of a bunch of other software out there and I've been this close to pulling the trigger on a bunch of them before. And then I decided to mess around with Lightroom Mobile. Turns out, like I said before, I don't like it for editing, uh, although it does work in a pinch. But culling is super, super fast. And let me show you how I go ahead and do that. It's a very easy process. So the first thing you're gonna do, just like always, is open up Lightroom Mobile. We'll wait for that to come up here. And these are the images that I'm gonna be working with. It's actually a ballet recital that I photographed for a dance company in Wenatchee, Washington. Here you see I've got 1,548 images in this folder here. And they're not cold at all yet. If I bring up my filters here, you'll see I've got no flagged picks yet. So this is all you have to do. There's a couple different ways to do this, but you can come down here to collections, create a new collection, name it, and then just for now I'm going to uncheck these things. So now I have this collection and there's nothing in it. What I'm going to do is come into the Spring Ballet Recital, I'm going to command or control A to select everything, and I'm gonna pull them down into that collection and let go. So we've got 1,548 images in this collection now. There's one thing you need to do first. You need to be logged in. So up here, you have to be logged into your Adobe account or whatever they call it. So make sure you're logged in here. And then once everything is in this collection, you can go ahead and check this little box right here that comes up this little like, I don't know, connection, upload, download kind of thing. Check that. So now it says it's syncing that collection with your Lightroom mobile. Now this will take a little bit of time. And what it's doing is it's syncing the smart previews to your online collection. And then you can view them online and all that good stuff, but the magic comes in viewing those on a mobile device or a tablet. And we'll get to that as soon as this stops syncing. I 
As you can see here, we're all done syncing. All of these images are now up in my mobile collection with my Adobe account. So from here, all we gotta do is use our phone or our tablet or what have you, and we'll go ahead and jump into this and I'll show you how to do it from here on. You're gonna wanna download Lightroom Mobile. Apparently I need to update mine. And once it launches up, if you haven't downloaded it yet, you're gonna sign in for the first time. Or if you're already signed in, you can see it right there. Check that out. The images are just loading in because they're synced up online. Now all these images, I can go into this collection and bam, presto, there they all are. I can scroll, see them all, but here's the beauty. So let's go into one of them, and then I can flick left or right to change it. But watch this. If I swipe up, it flags it as a pick. If I swipe down, I can go back to nothing, or if I swipe all the way down, I can go to a rejection which I never use rejects. So it's either no flag or a pick. But now, watch how fast I can go through these. A lot of these were just kind of getting ready images in the beginning. But you can see they have a little teeny tiny fuzziness when I first get to them, but they load super duper fast and I can flag them just as fast. So this is my friend's daughter who is handing out programs. And I'll just pick some here and swipe up there. There's a picture of them together. We'll go ahead and we'll pick, say that, no, nope, that one, she's looking. We'll pick that one. Go over here. Da, 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 da. We'll choose that one. They were doing some bake sale stuff. I'll pick all these, these are kind of behind the scenes. Do you see how quickly I'm going through these? I can't do this on my computer. I don't know if you can, but I can't. And here we're back into the performance. So I can go through, highlight the ones I want. Let's just go through here just for, I'll go like this, I'll go like this, I'll go choose a couple of these, that one's cool. Go forward, could be brightened up, she's in mid air. And even when I'm going really fast and you start getting that loading icon, I can still see the image. I can see the overall image, which is the point of culling. You just want that quick glance to be like, yep, that's worthy of the next level of editing. After you have all of your picks done on the iPad, those picks are automatically synced to Lightroom. So even as I'm doing it, as I'm picking one at a time, it's actually syncing that behind the scenes. So if I go to Lightroom now, all of those picks I just did are automatically set in there. Okay, we're back in Lightroom now, right where we left off before. I'm gonna go ahead and click over here into my filters and click, show me those flag pictures. Boom, there they are. There's 38 pictures that I flagged when I was doing that. What, how amazingly cool is that? No more delays with Lightroom, no more cursing at it continuing, no more slowdowns. You know what the cool part is too that I always do? I sync everything onto my iPad. I've even done it on my phone. I go downstairs, I put on something on TV that is just distracting but I don't have to pay attention to. Usually The Office or Parks and Rec or Friends or something like that. And I do all my selects right there. So for a full wedding or a show like this, I can do it in maybe like an hour, so much faster than doing it on the computer. And from here you can go about your edits. Oh, and any edit I make right here, I go into this image and I, let's just say it's super dark for whatever reason. And I brighten it way up. And I make it cool and I add some more saturation and blah, blah, blah. Obviously I'm making it look terrible. But as I'm doing this, Watch that, see that up there? Syncing one photo. It's syncing all these changes to that photo up in my Adobe mobile account. So if I was to go look on my iPad now, 
this photo now looks like it does here. And it goes vice versa too. I've actually come home from weddings before, loaded the pictures onto the computer, backed them up onto my hard drives, put them into Lightroom, put a preset on all of them, the base preset that I use on all my images, sync them all to Lightroom Mobile, then go downstairs with my iPad and cull. And after I'm done culling, usually the only thing I do from that point is little minor tweaks to images, whether it be uh, fixing the horizon lines or brightening them up or things like that because the base preset takes care of all of the saturation and the contrast and things. So I've done it before where I've gone back through the images on the iPad, increasing probably just the exposure up or down a little bit on the images that I want and I've actually finished a wedding on my iPad. Again, so much faster because you can just flick. Flick and then exposure up, down, flick, flick. It's so much quicker and then when I'm done, I come back to the computer. All those changes are already synced on there. Export. Done. Ever since figuring out Lightroom Mobile and playing with it for a very short amount of time, just enough time to actually get to the point where I am now, I have saved a ton of time. So instead of having to go out and research and purchase third-party programs, you can do super, super fast culling right within the Lightroom ecosystem. I hope you found this tip useful. If you end up doing it yourself, let me know what you think. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to see more tutorials down the road.